Hey, hi levelers, Rio Daniel here, and I'm gonna make this video quick, but I wanted to introduce you to a new analytics feature that Go High Level has just put out into the funnels and website area. I think it's pretty cool and it really complements the sort of Google Analytics type of video that I've created in the past where I've gone over how to install Google Analytics and things like that. Sometimes that can be a little bit complicated for people. I'm gonna go over that a little bit later on the video as well. But for right now, I at least wanted to at least let you know that this new feature exists. It's pretty cool. It gives you a lot of great information and it's just readily available. It's already turned on. Uh, it didn't have to go through labs or anything like that. So right now what I want to do is hop in and show it to you here. So right now, if you want to go ahead and go to the sites area, notice here at the top, you already have this analytics uh, tab across the top. Go ahead and click on that. And what you're going to get is you're going to get this cool little animated chart. Now this is a little bit separated from the other analytics in the reporting area of the high level system. So sometimes people may not really uh, pay attention to it, which is why I wanted to create a video and let people know that this is pretty cool. So if you ever have a funnel or a website inside of the Go High Level platform, and this has to be a Go High Level site, a website, not a WordPress inside of a high level, none of that type of stuff. This is strictly the websites and funnels that you have inside of the Go High Level platform. So that is a requirement. There's no monitoring of third-party websites or anything like that. So there are some restrictions, but if you have your website built or your funnel built inside of the Go High Level platform, this is will do more than enough to be able to sit back and monitor it because it basically the analytics are already inside of high level so it can track how many people come and go but this is pretty cool let's take a look at it here first of all let's just look at the tool itself you do have the ability to go between funnels websites and even the qr code so right now i had a video about qr codes probably about a week or, or two ago uh, that's a cool new feature that's out there but now you can actually start tracking the qr codes and how well they're actually being used and implemented so go ahead and check that out i'm just going to function uh primarily function on the funnels and the websites right here. And really just the funnels because this particular account really doesn't have any websites. It just have funnels in here. So right now, just you can select either one of these. From here, you can then select whatever funnels you want. Notice I have four of the funnels that are currently active right now. But then you can also come over here and, and adjust the date, just the period. Right now, I think it's a couple of weeks or something like that, but you can come here and select this. Choose whatever week you want. Last seven days, 14, 30, and so forth. So it's pretty intuitive. Now, if you really don't know how to use this, you can click on this button right here. This just gives you the help document, uh, opens up another page to help you understand a little bit more about what these values mean. Okay, so right back to the uh, this right here. Notice that we've got page views. Now, again, this right here, in order to get this type of view, you really needed to install Google Analytics you know, into your funnel or website. And it's still a good idea to do that if you want additional pieces of information. Now, I'm going to go over a little bit later on the video some of the additional pieces of information that Google Analytics can give you uh, beyond what you already have here. But sometimes if this is all you're looking for, then you don't need to really go through the trouble of setting up Google Analytics and me you know, measuring and monitoring it on the analytics site. You can simply just uh, use this tool right here to track it and it's pretty straightforward. So right now we'll just take a look here. Notice that we're looking at all of our funnels. It just gives you a total overview of all of your funnels activities. Now, one of the things I don't like is that that's not very helpful. You know, if you have a lot of particular funnels to look at it. So right now we're just gonna go ahead and take a look at uh, one particular funnel that I have. This is my high level uh, snapshot funnel. So if you're not familiar with it, this is just the site snapshots.rayodaniel.com. This is where I give away all of my snapshots where you can sign up and I give all of them to you from all the videos that I've made on my YouTube channel. So that's what this funnel right here is. So here over the last couple of weeks, we've had about 531 views, 151 opt-ins and, and a conversion rate, which pretty much just takes these and divide them over here to give you a conversion rate. But some of the things I want to show you here are just some of the page view area. Now notice you have this blue and purple uh, and pink line. So if we hover over it, we see, I'm gonna blow this up a little bit. We see the blue line of the page views. Now that's higher than the unique page views. Please keep in mind when you say unique page views, those are like individual people that have visited the page. So 51 unique people have visited the page, but there's 61 page views. So obviously somewhere in that 51, somebody must have went back and either closed the browser and reopened it and went back to the same page again and looked at it, but it's not a unique view because uh, the person reviewed the page again. So it increases the page views, but the unique page views again, stay the same. So right now I'm not sure which one you'd be interested in looking at, but just to let you know, that's how you would look at this. Now, another cool thing that they actually have down here, I'm gonna blow this up, is just dealing with page views. Now, this particular uh, funnel is very simple. It is a one step, boom, click, order. From after that, just goes to the thank you page and that's it. Now your funnel could be different. It could have multiple steps. Your website could have multiple pages. So this right here is just a list of the steps. And it just says out of all these, how many people actually approached those steps? 192 people went to the thank you page and then 339 people went to the snapshots page. What that tells you is that, oh, okay. So people went to the main snapshots page, but they didn't opt in and put their information in to go and get to the thank you page. Cause that's the only way you can get to it is to go through the main page to opt in. And then once you opt in, you go to the thank you page. So 
anyway, it is a pretty cool view just to give that to you. Now I'm going to go through um, another funnel that has a little bit, uh, I think more variety. Let's see, like this one right here. So this particular funnel has a few more uh, steps to it. So just notice that we've got the high level signup page. Uh, this is another signup page as a part of the funnel, personal message area and things like that. So this right here are just different steps that you can um, measure. And it's pretty cool that they've got it and it animates and stuff like that. So it is nice, but the biggest thing about it is that it just gives you, hey, I had over a thousand page views on this one in the last couple of weeks. 57 people opted in and that gives an opt-in conversion rate of 11.8%. What does that tell you? It tells you that you may need to sit back and look at getting your, your page to convert more. Maybe it's just not very appealing. I'm not sure that's gonna be up to you to decide. But anyway, this is a pretty cool, quick view of your funnels to be able to sit back and just choose one of these, look at it. Now, if you do have a sales, if you do sell things from your uh, funnel, this is pretty nice to be able to sit back and get a high level sales view from this one. So I just want to introduce you, this is pretty cool. If you have funnels and websites, it would definitely be worth taking a look at this just so that you can keep track of everything. Now, keep in mind, I don't have any websites here. So if you take a look, all of this just flattens out to zero because there is none here and there's no QR codes that I'm using on this particular, in this sub account right now. But one of the things I do want to sit back and at least help you understand is Google Analytics. Now, where do you, let's just take a funnel and just show you real quick here. I'm going to go into my active funnels and just choose a snapshot funnel. We're going to go into the settings and this right here, this head tracking code, this part right here. So under the funnel, you're going to go to the funnel, then you're going to go to settings. And from settings, you're going to come over here to the head tracking code. This is where you're going to copy and paste your Google Analytics uh, website code that you get whenever you set the property up inside of the analytics site, if you want to move forward and do that. Now, some of the things that you can do if you want to, depending upon how you're setting things up in Google Analytics, it is a more professional monitoring and analytical tool. So it can give you more information depending upon what it is that you're looking to get up out of it. But just real quick, just some of the things that you may end up getting from Google Analytics is just being able to see where your website visitors come from. That's one of the things that, uh, at least on here, no offense, this might be something that we're going to be getting into, but it doesn't tell me where the traffic is coming from. So that's one of the things that Google Analytics can do. Right now, if I took a look at it, I've got a fair amount that comes from the US. I have a fair amount that comes from the UK, from Pakistan and Australia and things like that I can at least tell you how many of those visitors are coming from those particular areas to at least let you know where's all your traffic coming from. So that could be a piece of information that you want. Another thing is that if you're actually dealing specifically in the US, it can actually break down and tell you what city because you can monitor the IP addresses of everybody. And from there, Google can find out where those IP addresses are in most cities and break down what city people are coming from so that can be really valuable information too, because I'm not sure if you're going to be doing any targeted messaging or anything like that in those particular areas, but now you can actually see the cities where those people come from and be able to sit back and, and look at perhaps even what site referred them. So keep in mind, you could advertise on some sites that you get referrals from, but again, here, it doesn't tell you where they were referred from. It doesn't tell you like where somebody went and clicked on a page. Like for instance, a lot of my, my links are probably on my YouTube channel. And from there, they look at the link in the video. And from there, it sits back and goes, okay, click on this link. If they click on that link to go to my site, then Google and analytics, excuse me, knows that came from YouTube because it's going from YouTube is the source URL and it's clicking to go to another URL. Now, if you have to copy that link and paste it into a browser, then you don't get a, a referral from that. Really, it just becomes what they call a direct link um, on there. So you can tell, you know, who directly copied and pasted your link and things like that. But at least it, it does have the ability to let you know those type of things, which again, from the high level stuff, it doesn't do. Um, some other things, just again, what, how the user came by your follow up website, you know, what would the refer page that they came from? And then even like session types, you know, how long were they on your site on average to look at stuff and to read stuff? That's another thing that they don't really give you here. Now, again, that's really an analytics tool, but hey, guys, for just the stuff being free inside of high level already, if you have the account, this doesn't cost you anything. Just simply click on the analytics and they're already being uh, measured. So right now you just go there, take a look at it. It's pretty cool to just sit back and just have a, a real quick um, overview. And this may even be something that if you have clients, you can even sit back and tell them, hey, why don't you sit back and, and go in and measure, look at your analytics area. And that right there just gives you a great view over how many website visitors and things like that, that you're getting inside of your website. So that might be something that you can actually have your clients do. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was at least informational. If it was, click on the like button, leave me a comment. I always appreciate it. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please click subscribe. I'm always looking to continue to grow my channel. I want to thank you so much for tuning in and you guys have a great day. Hi, Littlers.